All right, um, welcome to the channel. Let's go, Gruddy. Tonight, I am going to go over setting up my T150, my Thrustmaster T150, with a set of course of Competition. Sure, I approach that. Um, I have been struggling with setting up my wheel for the game, so I'm going to go over some steering setups, some steering uh, language, I can say. and we're going to go over each setting uh, as I set it up. I'm going to try and give you uh, a sense of what I'm feeling, and maybe you're feeling the same thing in your wheel. Like I said, I have a T150, a G29, well, obviously, counter between you know, uh, a Fanatec or Fanatic, however you want to say, uh, CSLD. But the language should be the same, so hopefully that will, will help you. Um, come on, audio is. Yep, it is cool. So first thing I want to do is is just go over some basic ideas of steering. Now most of the steering um, that I have learned has been from Jeep. So um, if you've ever had a Jeep that has an inverted Y steering setup, okay, uh, inverted Y. So you, uh, think of a Y, inverted Y I'd be down rather. I think I had to do okay. Why here you go? There's a Y inverted Y, so you got a drag link and you have a tie rod. Get your tires on it. So, if that steering geometry gets out of whack, you get a loose ball joint or anything like that, you go called death wobble. And, uh, you always have to stay on top of your steering components when you have a Jeep. A little, that's where I kind of learned everything. Um, so uh, basically, I got my pizza cutter here. Woo, pizza cutter. So, this is your wheel. And uh, we're gonna talk about caster first. So uh, if we talk about caster, then the, the brake of the fork. So if you think of a bicycle, the fork that comes down and attaches to the front tire. So as you rake this back, you get positive caster. So um, straight up and down right here is your, is your pivot point. This is a very unstable pivot point. So if you had zero caster, uh, your car would very quick turn, um, but very unstable. Uh, and then as you rake it back, increase your moment of it. Uh, this, this distance between where the, the angle line meets straight perpendicular uh, up and down line, that distance. And so as you increase this angle, uh, it makes it difficult to turn that wheel because as the car is, is driving, you have a gyroscopic effect. So as you're turning, and not only is it turning, but it's trying to lay the tire over on its side a little bit, back up and vertical. I guess that causes. It. Um, but of course, if you go too far with it, then you won't turn at all. You just lay your tire over flat. So you don't you don't want too much rake, like uh, if you have a chopper or something like that, because that wouldn't be any good. Because you go to turn left, and you <laughs> the tire would just fall over. Uh, so uh, so that's that's caster, positive caster, negative caster. I don't know why you'd ever want caster. It's a kind of weird chopping card. I don't know. Um, so, caster. And then, of course, you have camber, um, which you're probably familiar with in GT Sport. So, here is my son's little RC car. So, uh, so if we look at this tire, it actually has negative camber because um, I can't adjust the length. Positive. If it leans out away from the vehicle at the top, that would be negative caster. Positive caster towards the vehicle. Oh, my God, do I have it backwards? Anyway, um, so... You on a race car, you want that that tilt leaning at the top of the tire leaning going to the corner, and this is squat down. That tire is going to straighten up, and you're going to have your largest contact patch um, as the car in and the tire vertical straight up and down. You have your largest contact patch uh, if it's perpendicular to the ground. So uh, if you started off with a a square setup, and as you get in the corner and it's pushing out, you're going to have most of your uh, contact patch kind of in, on the side of the tire there and not getting as much. That, uh, of course, if you have a lot of camber in the rear, the problem is, is when you accelerate, not getting the full grip of the tire, but you want enough camber that when you go in the corners, uh, you get the same effect as the front tires. Grip. So, um, and then, of course, you have tow in, which is uh, when you when you tow the front tires 
in and you have toe out, which this, this RC car has toe out because I have no adjustability on the links to toe. Um, so toe in generally as the car picks up speed and again, you have that gyroscopic effects, the tires are gonna wanna start to go out, right? So um, it's gonna pull on the linkages to straighten out. And, and that, that is usually what's preferred in a road car because it decreases tire wear. So you have a slight bit of toe in and straightens out as you as I understand, a little bit of toe out on a race car sometimes is acceptable because it, it quicker turn in. I don't know. I've never really fooled with toe um, except for stability in the Jeep. Um, I go with the one toe in on my Jeep as that tends to fight death wobble the best uh, from, from my 1.8 to 1.8. Um, but I never fooled with the alignment on my Infinity because it self aligns. So <laughs> I don't even fool with it. It's got the DAS steering on that, so I just go flat tires on it and autocross. Anyway, so those are just basics of steering. Um, and what I'm hoping to achieve in the game is what I want to feel like I do in GT Sport or the original Assetto Corsa is so I have most of my settings turned down in Sport um, where um, I am feeling fidelity in the wheel. So I'm wanting to feel the road and I want to feel what the front tires are doing. Uh, for two reasons. I want to I want to know what I'm understeering. I want to know when the front tires are pushing into the corner and chopping across the pavement or, or the tires are folding. You don't really feel fold, but as they chop, they're folding. Um, I want to feel that because I want to know that I'm going into the corner too fast so I can either move my brake point back or open that steering wheel move it more towards the center, widen that arc or that radius, allow the car to maintain speed and stuff. My tires are the point. And um, you just end up pushing all the way through the corner and you have to wait a century and a half to get out the other side. Um, so, let's, um, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that fidelity in the steering. And in a set of course, I was really impressed when I played that. I actually I downloaded that game after I was playing Grand at some time. And, um, I was impressed at the feedback I had in my wheel. Um, I really liked the sensation of the tires when it appeared because when you say drive on a Bridgestone or a 200 street tire, which is one of the best street tires that you can buy, you start to understeer into a corner. Say you come in a little bit hot, just a little bit hot, not like smoking hot. hot. Those tires will heat up and they'll actually start to grow. You can feel them chop as it goes into the corner, and then you'll feel them grip up on you and bite and turn. Um, much like it would say in a Jeep, if you were off road and say some rocks and rock hill, you have trouble getting over the rocky section. You can light up the tires and four wheel drive and have them smoke. Just let them smoke. The tires really hot, and then you stop. Sit there for. off the clutch and that will just crawl right up the rocks. The tires are nice and sticky so you get them hot and get them sticky. Um, of course you can overcook them so going to the corner too hot you pass that point where they're hot and sticky and you don't dumb it up. See? Plowing through the corner. So it's a it's a feedback sensation that I like to really feel. I feel it really well and it's um, I find that it's very similar to what I feel when I autocross in my car. Um, the car feels a little bit heavy, which is kind of nice because you can feel weight. Um, I, I, it is harder for me to catch a car in a set of courses because I don't drive that game as much. Or I'm much better at predicting and catching a car. I really like the feel of the front wheel. Of course, so set of course of competition came out. I was super pumped to hear uh, that. Hearing feedback was even better than um, or in a set of course. Obviously. A set of course was pretty good. GT Sport's not bad either. Um, for me, I had to turn down a lot of the wheel settings, a lot of the feedback strength settings, so I could feel that fidelity. So I don't get quite the um, force, the torque pushing back on my I can feel what the car is doing. A set of course, I got more torque and, and fidelity. I really like that. But in this game, my initial settings, I have not been able to feel the front tires. So 
try and go through here and we're going to try and figure out how we can get the front tires set up where I can feel that. What's up Skull Rush? Uh, Moj? So my thoughts on the game. Yeah, I know most youngsters don't know all that, but I figure why not go over it and if they want to they want to look at it and or they can just skip for whatever they want to look at. Um, so my initial thoughts on the game. I, I Right now, uh, 30 FPS part of it is hard to overcome. Um, a lot of where you're looking for your brake markers and things are, are kind of a blur coming at you. And then when you get to the corner, corners kind of slowly and trying to hit your apex, it, it's very choppy, that frame rate. It's very choppy and it's hard to put your car right where you want it because it's like, you know, chum, 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 chum. It's <laughs> like coming at you in chunks. Um, I didn't think it would be that bad, but then when I drove it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is not that easy. I would I would personally would rather sacrifice some of the prettiness for a higher frame rate. And then I thought maybe they were sacrificing a lot of the frame rate to get the game in, and then I'm not really doing the physics that I feel in AC. And AC, I jumped on and instantly when I first drove AC, I was like, okay, I, I, I like this. Problem with it. Um, I, so I, I'm, I'm not impressed yet that way with the physics. Not a couple breezes. Oh, my God. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see if I can't get these these settings to at least feel good to where I can enjoy some of the game. I know that. A bunch of guys. In yeah, I know I need to try the piece. There's so much time in a day, man. So, um, we'll start with the, the top setting here. Gain, you see up, uh, uh, up top. So, this is my steering wheel setup. This is what I, I start. I, I kind of ended up with last night. Uh, this was uh, uh, some settings that Clean had put together for his uh, 29. So if you have a G29, these settings may actually work pretty well for you. Um, not quite what I want it to be. Um, so what gain does is gain. Well, I'm getting old. I need glasses to read. All right. Ah, ah. All right. Here we go. All right. Gain setting is set a course of competition will change the overall strength of your force feedback. The higher the setting is, the stronger the feedback will. So this is great for making quick adjustments up and down strength out up and down the strength output. Careful not to set it too high as it calls for that clipping. And that's what I was talking about, the uh, fidelity. Uh, I, I don't want the clipping. So I need I need to feel everything. Now I've got a weak wheel. I've got a T150. It doesn't have a really strong motor. So it, it needs help from, I guess, the input but it's like a cb uh radio you want to turn up the gain to hear that signal that's coming in from far away and you can hear it but you're also bringing in a lot of static with it um it doesn't always sound better crank the game uh similar in, um so let's uh i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put this around for my first go at 20 percent let's start with 20 Gonna start with some settings and we can out. All right, min, uh, minimum force, uh, minimum force setting set of course is a setting that has been introduced for weaker racing wheels, um, such as the Logitech G29 and Go All right, uh, the setting will account for racing wheels that have a dead zone at the center of the wheel. So if you're not really feeling anything going on with the car up here at the tip of the top. Uh, and we the top then yeah so that since I have probably the weakest wheel I'm gonna I'm gonna think that you would need to start that fairly high not go all the way to 15 let's go to 12 yes T150 man yeah it's T150 don't confuse me it's not T300 I say something else. 
I mean, the, the instruction says G29. I wasn't. Uh, dynamic dampening. Uh, this setting will change the weight of your racing wheel. This is directly linked to the speed of your car. As you start to accelerate to faster speeds, the dampening will increase. So um, this is the gyroscopic effect of the tires. And so as you get going faster, they're going to want to go straight. It's going to make it hard for turning the faster you go, the slower you go. As opposed to going really slow and you got the friction of the tire uh, against the surface. Uh, if you had a manual car, if any of you had the displeasure of driving a manual car, the steering wheel this big was to overcome that. But then as you got going, it, it would loosen up because you didn't have the effect of trying to turn that rubber against the concrete. But then going into a corner, you could feel the force feeding back into the steering wheel. So you could really feel the road well. I had an old Toyota 86 that had power assist steering. That thing, oh, you could feel everything. Under it. Great. I love that truck. Great steering. So anyway, so that's dynamic damping. Now, I'm, I'm not going to turn this up because I'm, I'm just going to leave. In fact, I think I'm not. I'm going to turn it off for now because what I'm looking for is understeer. I want to know when I hit understeer. I can start turning up the dial. Because I don't want to, I don't want to lose the fidelity in the steering wheel that I might be getting. All right, so I'm gonna keep that off. And road effects—that's your bumps, undulations, curbs, whatever. It's giving you feedback through the steering wheel. Since in these games, you know, if you're in a real car, for instance, let's say I'm in my Jeep and I'm going up a hill, I'm wanting to tires in the air and these are on the ground, and I'm wanting to turn this way to put this tire down, right? Front tires hanging in the air. These you're all now. If I start to go, right, and starts doing this, I know that this tire is digging something. And I'm going the wrong way. Back it back. Okay. Or if you're in your car and you turn, and of course you start to oversteer, you can feel it in your butt that you're starting to oversteer. You can also feel it the way the car is shuddering from the back tires, losing grip and skipping. Uh, or if you're in my car and you got one tire fire, you can smell the smoke coming through the windows <laughs> as you go around the corner. Uh, that's a pretty good indicator. You're losing traction. Uh, anyway, uh, so right now I'm, I'm going to leave road effects. I want to feel some road effect. Just, uh, let's just put that at 5%. Yeah. Um, steer lock. Okay, so steer lock is obviously how far you turn the wheel before it hits lock. 540 would be 360 which is all the way around one time and then another 180. Mine's not quite five. Um, but like it. Some of these cars are 620, some of these cars are 540. Um, I don't know I don't know which cars are what. So I'm not even sure what to start with. So I guess we'll start with 540 and we'll up. Okay. Uh, steering linearity um, doesn't tell me what steering. We're gonna go with one, and we're gonna go with one on brake gamma. Love how it doesn't tell me what. I'm gonna guess that's a one. I, um, hmm, that might be what I need to. Let me see if I can look at. Anyone in chat wants to look up and get back to. Up if I was let's see I have this ready for you all boom go find out what it is what See if my people in chat were on, you know, Johnny on the spot with this guy. Well. Yeah, I... I looked online for T-150 settings and I, I couldn't find anything either, which is why we're doing this right now. 
Um, and I figured I'd, I'd do it on a stream that way. If anyone else is looking, you know, maybe they could get something out of this, like a library of knowledge. Uh, let me... Oh, what it is. Okay, well, we'll just have to, to play with it and see what it, what it does. Break camera. I'm assuming that, um, you know, zero, zero to 100% in gamma is a ratio. I don't know if I'm sure. So you had to stop, if you turn it up, so Fabriza says if you turn up break gamma, you have to stop it harder. Same in, I would assume then if you last, you'd have to press it last <laughs> even at one for now uh, all right so you don't have to save I've got some settings we'll keep these as we I'm good I'm gonna... one why not all this uh, sample there we go. Here's the high tech. She calls sample gamma 150. Or there we go. So we've saved that as sample. So go to. We were at spa before, but let's uh, let's go to something a little less hilly. Um, this is good. good. Lapis. <laughs> I don't know. New brands hatch, but oh, I hate. Car, we're uh, go with something very. What, Mars is less hilly? Isn't that less hilly? Is there a single hill at Monza? There is. Oh, dude, I tried to go down Mount Panorama, Bathurst. Ladies, after I got done beating Lewis Hamilton, I mean, literally, it just, just came off of beating Lewis Hamilton and Moti. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and then uh, I came right under here. I got in a Mercedes. I got in a Mount Panorama. I couldn't drive down there. I mean, just taking it. Now, right, here we go. All right. So that, that looks practice. Session. Get in there. All right, here we go. So this is probably gonna feel just absolutely awful. Probably do a car set. Uh, set up. All right, let's aggressive because um, where I'm gonna be eventually is amazing. Now. Probably so. Oh, right, you know what? Maybe I should do. Maybe I should do safe because I'm just testing the wheel. Want feel tires? Let's do that. Right. We'll call this uh, GTR safe. All right. There we go.
Try not to hit the walls leaving the pits here. Now there is a lot of input lag as well. So um, that makes it a little difficult to catch the car. Shit, like there I just I could not see. I couldn't read the brake marker, I didn't know which one I was at until I was at him. Alright. Okay, so now I really I don't have any sense of the road. I don't have anything pushing back on the wheel. It just feels like I'm, I'm driving a, a, a play school car. Um, no, I don't really feel much of anything. Okay, I just purposely oversteered, understeered there and I, I don't feel anything in the steering wheel. It's just pretty much um, super light and nothing was really going on. I can hear the tires that's telling me that the car is over rotating, but I can't really feel that the car is doing anything. It's all visual pretty much. All right. Just some options. Because that is awful. <laughs> all right. Um, Let's increase it all the way to 50. We're just see how that does. If I, can, if I can sense anything different. Not really. Don't really feel anything different. Still feels super light. Like in GT Sport, if my wheel was this light, I would be feeling all kinds of um, little fidelity pushbacks from the tires. This is even lighter than my settings at 1 and 2 in GT Sport. Um, let's see how it feels through Petabalaka. Yeah, nothing. Oh, death! Let's add some, um, what I'm going to do, I'm, before I change anything, I'll change this. To six. Why not? 540. Uh, okay, so, I'm looking at my hands, and kind of, yeah, the, the wheel, his wheel's, Needs to be turning a little bit more than mine. I don't know. Maybe that'll help with the uh, recentering of the car. I was having trouble with that. Or, whoa, too late. We'll just go through here. Just ignore that. I need to pick the track with no first chicane. What I need to do. <laughs> I'm going to be talking, not paying attention. Now, 30 FPS is a little bothersome. I actually kind of like the feel of the 620, to be honest with you. It's a little more twitchy, but I feel like you can hit those apexes a little easier. Hmm. Got a little nicer turn in, and then I can I can correct better. Okay, I like that. I like that. I would suggest you try 620. Definitely suggest trying 620. Just, just feels like it has a crisper turn in, and it feels like I can correct more quickly. I don't feel as afraid of, for the back end to come around. Woo! Whoops! Not bad. Take a little trip to the beach. Okay, yeah, but still, I can't feel the tires push. I'm breaking late here. Nothing. I don't feel anything in the front tires. AC, I would, I'd feel them just chattering. Same in GT Sport. Just, my tires feel fairly cold, but still, you should still feel something. I don't know. I think we hit the right brake marker this time. Yeah, 
that's not too bad. Alright. Still, the steering wheel is very dumb. Still very dumb. So again. Uh, let's pick things up. Going to be the gyroscopic effect of me. Wheels pushing back on me uh, as we get faster. Help with feeling the understeer or not? We'll see. Yeah, I definitely feel a little little push back there on the steering wheel. Fairly fairly nice. Getting the 150 here. Getting on the brakes. I'm not really not feeling tires. Against the road at all. You can hear them. Sounds lovely. Sounds like a nice set of bridge stones would. Not all squealy like the Michelin's. Although, I don't know the Michelin race tires would squeal like that. My street tires do. The PS4S are since they'll, they'll talk to you for sure. Bridge stones only talk when you really piss them off. And yeah, I couldn't feel the, the understeer. All right, but I do like the feel of that better. It's feeling better. I like the six. So I'm going to crank the gain up. Uh, I know. If it, sending more signals to my wheel, assisting the torque of the motor. Fingers crossed. Hey. Uh, Try aggressive setup. Okay. I'm going to go around parabolica. See if I can. Yeah, okay, feel weight on the wheel. Okay. So I drive a DAS car. It's, it's all electronic. There is no connection to the tires. 100% electronic. I can add weight to my wheel. It's just there for the effect of having weight on your wheel. It really doesn't serve any purpose. That's what I feel like I just did. I feel like I just turned up the weight on my Infinity Q50. As I'm talking and I blow through that. It, I mean, I like the gyroscopic effect that it's got. It, that's pretty cool. And I really, I like about the weight of it right here at 40%. Not over, it's not too much. But I just don't feel the car understeer at all. I cannot feel the front tires. All right, I'm going to go try to advance. Uh, aggressive setup. And let's see. Need to return to the garage to do that, man. Do I really want to? Yeah, I do. <laughs> all right, let's go to the aggressive load. Do. Uh, I don't even know if I need to do this or not, but. Burn. Right back. Back. Uh, continue. Oops. Oh, I felt the rear tires chatter. I felt, I felt the rear tires, but I haven't felt the front tires yet. Man, that 30 FPS message is brain. I don't think I've hit that corner yet. Okay. I got the gyroscopic effect going on. I got a little bit of weight on the wheel. I don't have any road feeding feeling at all. I'm not like, I don't really feel the curbs. 
Like these curves. Oh, there, I felt just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Feel the weight of the wheel now because it's got, like I said, that gyroscopic effect. In here. It's kind of cool. But, uh. I can, I can, I can feel the... Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> it works, alright. I'm trying to feel the uh, weight of the car there. You can, you can feel the weight of the rear of the car as you shift it back and forth. As you wag it, you can feel it pulling on your wheel the other way. Like, this is nice. Yeah, you can definitely feel that. Like, you can feel the car wobbling. More so than you can in GT Sport, definitely. I still say AC to me is superior physics. I, it just does. You know, on T150, it does anyway, so far. I mean, I like it, it's okay. Um, the 620 has made a big difference in how the car feels. It really has. All right, let's go ahead and add in road effects. How does it get? Uh, let's do the quarter. So I just, that's what I'm doing now mode. So uh, in the options here, uh, that's the road effect. That's like, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to hide that tires. I do want to feel the road. Maybe that's the effect that I'm missing. Get done. Maybe. I don't want to be over there. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, road effect. Shh, I missed it. <laughs> I'm freaking spot again. Yeah, I mean, the, the weight of the car, it feels really good. You can really feel the, the, the mass of this GTR. I like how you kind of shift in the seat. Yeah, I still didn't really feel those curves in my wheel. Like right there, I'm not really feeling it. I mean, GT Sport, you can feel every little bump in that curbing. I felt a little bit there. I may need to get up, um, change, increase the road effects a little more. Riveted my tin together. I need to tighten up those rivets. I'll bang your car. I, I gotta say, I do like the sounds. Doesn't sound like different types of vacuum cleaners like GT Sport does. Sounds like a race car. All right, so just as we're at 40, so we need, I need to do your road effects up a little bit. Go to 40.
Almost made that turn. Uh, I'm feeling some undulations. Yeah, yeah. Kind of digging it. Alright, hitting curves on purpose. Alright, let's feel that one. Maybe that's a smooth curve, though. I don't know. There we go. A little bit, a little bit there. Yeah, I felt a little bit there. Definitely use some more of that, though. Maybe I need to turn up the gain, though, to get more of that. Don't pay any attention to that chicane, Skull Rush. Don't miss turn one. Right. All right. Uh, I'm slowly bringing everything up. I'm trying to see as I add. I'm trying to get in touch with my feet. All right, so. Felt light and lift or four. Still not feeling tired. So. Forty. Go to hundred on the game. Can you remember? I don't want to overpower this. Crap. Okay, the reel feels really heavy. And I did feel the back come around there pretty good. But you're welcome for breezes. You're welcome, my man. Oh, now I really feel the road. Okay. So now I'm feeling all the bumps. I missed the turn one again. I'm telling y'all, this 30 FPS is killing me. I'm old and my, my, you know, reflexes aren't what they used to be. Okay, so the game is definitely helping in terms of, of feeling road bumps. Almost a little too much though, because this was kind of yanking the wheel from my hand. Oh yeah, there's the bumps. I kind of like that though. Maybe I need to turn down the gain a little bit in the road. I mean, turn down the gain and up. Yeah, 360 no scope. What? What? I saw it here first, boys. So you know you got your settings dialed in. <laughs> uh, um. So again, the gain is, is, is assisting this weak wheel feel things that a stronger wheel would, would feel more easily. This has got more torque in the motor. This isn't a very torquey motor. I mean, honestly, I could get used to it like this. I just feel it's just a, a tad too heavy. Um, Still don't feel the front end at all. Um, the rest of the car feels pretty good. Feels pretty cool.
Bahrain. <laughs> I probably couldn't. Have to, I'd have to muscle up a little bit, do a little training. Oh, it'd be like that go kart. Grand said. Couldn't lift my arm for like two days. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna believe I missed it again. Oh, oh, ow, oh. Oops. You got on PC, Hunter? Good deal, brother. Yeah, I hear on PC it's amazing. Um, I think Rev spent like five days tweaking his settings or something like that, I heard. So if you're looking for some good real settings, he'd be the man to talk to. Oh, boy, I tell you what, you can't ride sausages like you can in GT Sport. Just the noises. terrible. I'm still a little on the heavy side. I still probably want to bring down the gain a little bit. Uh, I have the nice road field starting to come through. Um, whoa! What was that? What the hell happened? Did you see that? I did a wheelie. Did I hit something? What the heck? Like I ramped it. Like a kid on my BMX bike. <laughs> that was some sweet air. Still can't feel the front tires. Okay. Still a too heavy. Got that. Do something odd, just give some. Oh, let's go bumper cam. Do you have bumper cam? There we go. Oh, look at there. We have bumper cam. I can actually see the brake markers. We didn't make it. <laughs> oh yeah, Chase Cam Pleb. Oh, the sound is terrible in Chase. Probably don't want anybody to play it in this mode. Oh, that's just awful. It's actually easier to see your turning points. 30 FPS. Oh, you got this mode. This is camera. Ooh, look at that. I'm like a professional. I kind of like that view. Let's see. That's terrible. Oh, what is this helmet view? Oh, this is kind of sick. I dig this. I didn't like the hood cam. Whoa! Holy head movement, Batman. Oh, look. Look at the lead. He drives like I do. He's leading. Oh. Look, look at my head's bobbing. Whoa! That's the hood cam. Ah, how much of a hood there? This view. This seems to be a pretty good view. Look to the right. 
Oops, that's not my right mark. There it is. Broke plenty early that time. Dude, reverse look. Okay. different tracks. All right, let's go with Guna. If I need the corkscrew. Geico Air gas Sweet looking What? I like it I like it Alright Track temperature is 27 degrees. Perfect. Probably didn't keep it. Oh, they're set up. Aggressive preset, yeah. Tweak it later, I guess I'll get this. Let's do it. Let's drive. Green light. Give it all you can. Give it all you can. Let's go. Start this thing. I wreck it coming out of the pits. Now you do have to remember to drive out of the pits. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be all day. Well, I just got a penalty for that. Oh my god, this pit lane is narrow. It's like a bicycle trail. What the hell? Tires are cold. Woo! Whoa! Did not like the sausage. I gotta remember the tires are cold, so I gotta, I gotta be cool. Whoa! Came off the tires like that. No sir, Bob. I think I just killed my car. Slower to warm up the tires. Come on, brakes. There we go. Brakes are warm. like that. I'm not even on the track. Alright, let's get a real lap in here. Patience, patience. Okay, tires are green, 25 PSI front, 26 in rear. I guess I need to get my front tires warmed up a little more. Before I get too aggressive.
Don't hit that sausage. I'll die. Third year. You know, it's just the only thing this game is missing to me. The feeling of the front tires. I just don't feel them. The weight is nice. The sounds are nice. Really, the wheel's still a little bit heavy for me at these settings. Yeah, I feel like it's a little heavy there. Um, In the GTR, at least, I definitely like the 620, so. I don't know. Getting in the marbles, getting in the marbles in the OPR, the people's rubber. Oh yeah. Oh. Don't hit the sausage. So, um, yeah. Those are the steering setups. Um, just look and see. We can crank up the dynamic dampening real quick just so I can click at 20. I'm not crank it. percent See what that does. Really feel that much of a difference, to be honest with you. Open up against that concrete wall. Love it. Sounds so good. I mean, it feels all right. I don't really notice that much of a difference. So, if you want to crank up that dynamic dampening, feel free. Do three more laps, it says. Well, we'll go ahead and do three more laps. That was pretty sissy in that turn there. Now I hit the sausage. Don't do it, Granny. coming around. Again, didn't really feel it to stop it though.
five consistent laps. But I want to go fast. <laughs> Nobody wants to be consistent. All right, let's see if I can do three consistent laps. I do so much better when I'm racing because I'm much more conservative when I race and I'm just trying to lap. I'm trying to find the limits when I'm lapping. When I'm racing, you're kind of paying attention to the driver in front of you, trying to figure out a way around them, and not really just trying to push the limits of the track everywhere. Push you out front, which I never am, so it's not a problem. Get on the brakes early, coast through the corner. My crew chief likes it when I do that. Being easy on the car. Alright, the thing up there in the right corner is telling me something. It's like saying, okay, very good. I feel it, it's just, it's just too late. I just got to figure it out, I guess. The tire's definitely feeling grippier now that I'm on the lap. What lap are we on? Four? You're definitely feeling like there's more grip in the tires. And, and that sensation for me mostly is coming from the audio, how the tires sound. Obviously, you can take the corners. Oh. Too inconsistent. Impressive. So judgmental is this game. What's up, clean? Cold tires. Not even looking at the RPMs, to be honest with you, Kelso. Blow my motor up. Sounds so good when you rev it out, though. Yeah. Like someone needs to purchase what? T three hundred RS. Yeah, I've gotten this far at the T one fifty. It'll be all right for now. Whoa! Too late on the brakes. Let's right, see if I can make it through this corner without dying. Hey, I made it alive.
supposed to listen for RPMs, not look. I know, I know. It sounds so good when you rev it out. Like, why would you want to shift? Be we consistent. I know, I'm reading chat, game. Give me a break. Sound like the rear of the car, bottom of the car is just coming up and die here. It doesn't light my Laguna laps. I mean, my corkscrew part of the lap. What are the times? 132, that's not very good. Check that out. So, how, how much is it clipping? My FF meter? Huh. I can go back and watch my stream and see when it's clipping. Very interesting. We need to get a race together. Or something. I don't know. I don't think I can race yet. So that's where I ended up. Um, I don't feel a lot of front tire scrubbing out. When you push scrubbing, a little bit of what I tend to use to find out if I'm hot or not. I don't know that I want to turn up though. Um, you know, I'm getting a lot of this from the road, right? And I've got good, it's pushing back on me good and I'm in the corners, so I'm feeling weight. Um, I don't know what else I'd want. Uh, I just want the feeling of the front tires more, but I guess 17. Um, old girl just didn't have it in her. <laughs> I don't know. Turn dynamic dampening. Yeah, I went to 100% game. Like. Uh, was it like 20% dynamic damping? 20? And it wasn't there. That game was all the way up. Dynamic damping was all the way down. The dampening really... I mean, I went from 20 to 125 and just didn't notice much. Five. <laughs> I 
I, I went through all the settings and slowly turned them up and felt the difference. So, um, well, that was kind of where I settled. If I turn minimum force down, you just don't. It's just like a place with like this. That's I don't want to turn that down. Game further I turn this up, the more of the road effects I feel, the more that the fifty percent effects that I feel. So, uh, but then this the steering wheel gets very heavy. Okay? So if I turn up gain and I turn down road effects, I'll still have the same road effect feel and. They can go like this, and it feels pretty much the same. I'll just leave them at this setting for now. I need to start to tweak. One hundred is too heavy. Two hundred. Audio is cutting in and out. It's probably because I'm not talking loud enough. I will have the uh, have the clipping set up for the background noise. Let me turn it down. The house is being very loud. That should be better. I think I wasn't talking loud enough. Sorry. What you have to do when you got La Familia house around behind you. All right. So, I mean, I, I've tried the various combos, you know, I'll, 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 I mean, I could turn up dynamic dampening because I haven't cranked it all the way up. But uh, all the way to see what it feels like, see what it feels like. Might be too hot, might be too hot. Yeah, I understeered a lot right there. I felt none of it. To me, this feels like AC without um, the awesome front tire feels that I get in AC, in the, in the regular AC. In GT Sport, I get all the front tire feel, but I don't get the weight of the car like you do in a set of Corsa. And the, the lovely sounds. So the problem with the with the dynamic damping this high could be counter steering. I, I don't know. Let me get a. Eh, no, I caught it all right. It's a terrible line. Yeah, I mean, I think you could crank up the dynamic dampening or have it halfway. Uh, I, in this wheel, yeah, it, it, it brings firmness, 
But, uh... But even though I'm going slow right now, I'm still getting a ton of firmness. That's why I think 200 is too much. I think the slower speeds it needs to be less. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Well, I am driving better lap time, so <laughs> I guess there's that. We'll leave it here. We'll leave it here, Kelso. You might be right. Maybe I like 200. My force feedback meter doing. If I look at that. Oh, shush. Off track. Off track. It really is. So I like to pick out the tree and kind of aim for it in GT Sport. You can't see the tree in in this because the frame rate's uh, less. The 30 FPS makes it hard to pick out things in the distance and point your car towards them because they're blurry. Should be minimum 100. Yeah, it was at what, 125 I think? It felt pretty good at 125. It feels fine at 200 because I'm almost missing my brake marker. Oh, did not feel that at all. Couldn't feel the rear tires coming out. And then I need to get the audio of the rear tires going, like spinning up, nothing. It just all of a sudden started rotating. I need to turn up the tire sounds, audio. Uh, option. Oh, my 100% tire noise, well, can I go higher than 100%? Yeah, I agree. It does need to be lighter or slower. Um, I don't know. I think, uh, I think that's too, 125 is fine. Go. There we go. See, now, now I'm feeling like it's a little lighter at the lower speeds. A little heavier here at a mid speed. Okay, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. See, that time I heard the tires sliding against the pavement, so I was able to counter steer. Just, I'm not feeling it here, which is where I want to feel it. That was a that was a long paragraph, Cleet. I had to I had to pause during that. That was at uh, what one twenty five to start. Went to two hundred. Yeah, I'll try one fifty. Uh, do you need lower for me? Give me what about the hardware? Probably best book. Force of five degrees. Yeah, so the problem with cranking up the gain is it just makes my wheel feel heavy. Um I'm looking for the, that fidelity. Um, I'm feeling the road at this this game. Uh, I feel the the tires pushing back against me. Uh, I, I tried it at 100 and just felt heavy. Not, Feel like I gained anything from it.
Marbles. OPR. Oh, I love over revving this thing. Feels okay too. Um, I like it. 140, 150 semi. I'm getting a little more on the high end. I'm feeling more of the, the pull, push back on the wheel on the high end for sure. Yeah, and lightening it up pretty nicely there as I slow it down. about GT Sport is when you go um, up a hill you can feel the wheel get lighter as the weight is coming off the front end I don't get that yes. I'm fairly sensitive to the front end of the cars because of all the problems I've had with my Jeep <laughs> I, uh, I'm highly tuned into when a Synchronous wave of death wobbles about to kick my ass. Oh, screwed that up. Master control, we don't have master. I'm up. I mean, I can try it. All right. Let me save this. I really like this. Kelso. I'm going to try it for you, Kelso. Uh, Crank the game up, boys. Let's go to 100. Woo, doggy. All right, now I'll give an honest evaluation. I keep looking here because this is where things are typed. This is where the camera is. All right, all right, all right. Give it a shot and give me an honest evaluation. Gain. 50. Feels is definitely heavy. Feels it feels similar to when I went karting. Um very heavy. Probably made me look more like E Man. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, I'm still feeling the road inputs. I probably maybe even turn them down a little bit. So it almost feels like it did when I had the dynamic dampening up all the way. Just kind of stiff everywhere. In visual, in audio, the tire, front tires chirping. Nothing in the wheel. I can drive like this. It just feels a little too heavy in the um, the lower speeds. It, it's almost identical to when I had the the gain turned down and the dynamic damping turned up. I'm not really getting any more input, I guess you could say, other than weight. Get the rear end around. Oof. Try and drift her out a little bit. Ah, that's 
sec. Yeah, still clipping. I just saw it go red again. I do like that. It's not complete death if you get a tire off the track. The wheel was clipping. I saw the FF go red. Pointing at it like you can see where I'm pointing. Let <laughs> me back her down another five. thing out. Terrible through there. So, I think that's the goal. Never read, Kelson. You don't want to clip. Losing input. Hundley! This is a good track for practicing this though, getting the steering wheel settings. Not too long. Ah, I do not feel that rear end coming around. Just auditory. Like the wheel doesn't even get lighter. Like that's not even lighter. Until about then. It was almost all the way around in front of you. See if I can. I'm just trying to feel it. Hold on. Let's see what I can do. Oops. No, that was poor driving, but I was just trying to feel the car. I was doing that on purpose to see if I could feel, like right there. You can feel the weight. 
And the tire's still dirty, but uh, you can feel the car shift weight, which is cool. Wish I could feel. Like I said the front tires a little more. And I don't know. There's just some things I would I would improve. <laughs> uh, like anybody's hiring me to do anything. Y'all be like, man, this game sucks. Feels like you're driving a real car. It's easy to be critical when you're not the one putting it together. I'm sure this guy spent a gazillion hours programming this. Oh my goodness. Ah, see, what I want to feel there is some kind of either chatter in my wheel that the rear tires are spinning. Because, uh, you tend to, I mean, unless you're in a really well set up drive car, you're going to feel that chop in the rear end like, like that. Even in my Infinity, I feel it. And that's got no connection to the wheels. Um, or an audio that I can hear those tires breaking free so that I know that I need to counter steer instead of just the visual. Because by the time I'm picking up visual, I'm so old and my reflexes are so bad. It's too late. It's too late for Gladdy to figure it out. Especially the slower speeds. The faster speeds, I understand things are going to happen a little more quick. But, you know, at a, on a hairpin when you're going... 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, that's autocross speed. I can feel that in my car from a mile away. I mean, I can sit there and play with the throttle and steer with the rear end if I want to. Could not, um, couldn't sense when the car was in balance there. I tried to counter steer a little bit and see what it felt like, and it was a, it was, there was a long lag between my input and when I felt where the car was. This is the uh, GTR Indy. Uh, let's see here. It is this one. But guess what you can do? In, in Chase Cam View, you can see all of that. Yeah, you can. Hit that rev limiter. Pop, 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 pow. I don't forget who it was I was telling about. It's like, this game is meant to be played in Chase King. Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, just trying to figure out the steering. Getting the best setup for my T-150. Yep. So we've gone through, I mean, if you ever want to go back and see what all the changes I made and what I felt like it did to the wheel, feel free to go back and find those spots. Um, in a nutshell, I'm about to end this anyway. Um, <laughs> thank you, Andy. Uh, appreciate it, man. So what I found was so far is Gain is going to increase what you feel in a cheaper wheel like mine. If you want. Um, so it will increase the road effects. And increase the weight of the wheel. 
or half, you'll feel more of that. Um, the dynamic dampening, uh, you, will, you will feel more of the car wanting to uh, push back against the wheel at high speed corners, you feel less of it in a slow speed corner. So going through a really high speed corner, it's that gyroscopic effect pushing back on those tires. That's dampening. Uh, again, the road effects is the bumps, undulations, curves, all that stuff pushing, pushing back and forth on your wheels you're going track. Um, minimum force is there to is assist uh, feeling all the turn this down if you have a better wheel, turn it up if you have um, tried it at zero and it felt like it was just like applesauce. It was just silky smooth like this <laughs> at zero. Didn't, you couldn't feel a darn thing. Turn around to I don't want to turn road effects down to 2025. That's what the devs say. Go huh? 25. Developers say to do it. If, if, if this is what we want you to do, why do they give you more? Terrible line through there, but I can't see my darn normal point that I aim for. Here's something else out. Whoops! Like that bump, didn't feel it. <laughs> um, that curb, barely felt it. Felt that. Feeling all that. I don't know. Curb feelings in GT Sport are better. Ah, I felt some good road vibrations there. I let me know what's going on. Right there, something. All right. Uh, setting my wheel lock. I set my wheel lock to 620. I really like that, to be honest.
um, 620, it, 540, I had it before. Oh, it was terrible, really terrible. I'll tell Revo GT40 is better. <laughs> yeah, not better than the computer version of it, better than the console. Uh, I, honestly, I think AC, the original AC is better than this version by far. I mean, you can really feel the front end in the original AC. I really, I really like that. Yeah, and so the question there is, is what is the steer lock supposed to be? 540 definitely isn't it, because it was awful at 540. Very late. Um, turning was late. Counter steer was late. Everything seemed to be really late at 620 seems to be more spot on. Uh, turning seems to be better. Better. Really, I'm really afraid to change it. Oops. Um, and I think that would be something. Okay, you want to. Wheel lock is wheel lock. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what the stock T150 wheel lock setting is. Uh, let's see it, so we can find out. 60. 540, about 540, 360, 50, 540, it's 540. What? You switch it to 540, I'll switch. I like six. Apparently, we were going really fast. steer it's very late coming to center I don't know how else to explain it it's just very late back toward you can say match the fucking wheel if it doesn't drive right I can Dun, 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 dun. This is a theatrical interpretation. Live stream. Live stream. I have no idea. Head to the pit. Don't start off. <laughs> what? What? Stay in pit lane and trust wheel in the car. <laughs> what on earth are y'all talking about? Match the wheel. Are you talking about to what that little guy on the screen is doing? I got you. Good gracious. Match the wheel means jack shit. 
Alright. It's off. Zero. Ninety. I'm at right up and down. He's a little past ninety. That's upside down. Yeah, he is way ahead of me. Okay. I'm not chatting with you. You're too excited. Ah, life is too short to be that upset, Kelso. Oh, good. We're going to figure it out. All right. Um, uh, so if it's turning past, actually, I should, I should. So it's getting ahead of me, so. 540 is not enough, right? And let's go to 620. 90, 90, look, right up. Okay, I am perpendicular. It is a little past perpendicular. Right up and down. He's locked, so I'm way, he's locked already, okay. Oh shit. Hell. I don't, he can go 620. How the hell is that 620 this is not? Three sixty. It's not even, it's already stopped. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So the degree of my rotation and my wheel must match at all the way to lock or just must match through, say, 180 degrees. Because it... See, that's 180. Great. 90. 90. Okay. But if I... So this, their wheel, their wheel should have... I already hate this game. <laughs> so this wheel should have 620 degrees of rotation according to what I just said. But it locks before mine does, and mine only has 540. Why the hell does it do that? Any sense? Uh, as far as as this input, that seems to be correct. Straight up and down. His hand is straight up and down. You just saying clean. You're saying 180 to 180. It should be. It should match. I mean, I'm never going past 180 anyway. God, that's freaking funky. <laughs> uh, it's okay to be an odd number. I know that, but I'm like, it, it seems, seems to be matching. Right, so 90 degrees would be right there. That's 90. Green is matched up to 90. Appears to me, uh, that's straight up and the wheel and the screen is straight up. How do you drift properly without going past 180? I don't drift, Taylor, you know that. Lag is a little low tire pressure. Stay away from so much. When did Z28 start streaming again? By the way, when did he like? I thought he disappeared off the face of the earth.
It seems right. As far as I can tell. About as good as it's felt. All the various settings we've done from a T150. I mean, if you like a little heavier wheel, you could definitely crank up the gain and/or dynamic balance. Um, if you like a little more of the undulations from the road, you can definitely crank up the uh, the road feel. Oh, I'm terrible with it. I, I really miss the imp the feeling of the input from AC from a set of Corsa. And the front end feel that I get from GT Sport. As far as the lightness when you're going up and down hills and bumps in the road. Um, I don't Yeah, it should be linear, but um, let's see. It's 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 slower, but I don't know if that's lag. So let's let's tell you what let's adjust that. Just the linearity. Oh, come on. All right, so. Less should be quicker. Is that right? Less should be quicker. Oh, I think so. Oh, and then let me check. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It goes from one to four. Go backward. Let's uh, let's go to one point two. Idea what it's gonna do. Still, I'm gonna be lagging behind. This is interesting. Crank it up and see what it does, and then come back down to 1.2. You know, definitely feels more like it's doing what I'm asking the car to do now. Instead of. Ah, it's too late. Too late to freaking counter steer, damn it. Or oh, I'm too late to counter steer, one of the two. <laughs> A little bit of both, maybe. 
I was kind of liking the way that felt, though. Hello. You think I'm gonna end up driving the Lexus? Why? Uh, some some of what I'm doing the Megatron is because I'm just trying to feel the car. I'm not really. I want to feel what these changes do, so I might oversteer on purpose. I don't know. I want to change it a lot. I want to see what it Crank it up. Like. Yeah. Is it a great car? Got to be better than the Mercedes. Oh, I was terrible on that thing. Woof. Woof. Yeah. All right, let's see what two's like. seems to be going bye bye oh yeah I know I just killed the car but I just I was watching the steering wheel <laughs> I wasn't watching the road uh oh might have found the secret sauce What was that time that you ran here? I, I, I would love to race. But I don't know if I want to drive against other people and, and murder them. <laughs> I'm not that good yet. I just figured out my steering wheel settings. Get it too. I'll be straight up, like seriously. We need a um. The wheel seems to be much better matching my, like how quick I'm turning. At two. more confident if I can catch the car. I mean, I, I didn't quite catch it there, but it wasn't like... What was that last bit of spin? That was... I don't know. I'm trying to read chat, too.
125,920. I gotta do a lot better than this. My goodness, that's booking it. That is booking it. I don't know what I could do here. I don't 125. Yeah, I think the best I've ever done is like a 126 in GT Sport. Ah! Maybe a wee bit too much. I don't know. Let's go down the middle. Alright. Okay. Steering wheel basics. I don't know if I helped you at all. <laughs> I hope I did. If I did, uh, congratulations if I did not apologize. But, hope you enjoy the game. See you around soon. Alright, guys, I'm out of here. Have a great evening. set up on the car um it's advanced it's uh, aggressive setting aggressive setup all right well, i'll jump in chat with you mega um we'll figure out if we want to race something maybe we get something <laughs> i don't know i'm not using tracks you troll what are you talking about what no oh hurts me hurts me deep i don't know no idea what there's a lot more to. I'm just trying to get a bigger baseline. We'll jump on chat in just a minute. Um, all right, guys, y'all have a good evening. Take it easy.